a 12-year-old boy viciously beaten tonight, his family outraged and pleading for his attackers to be brought to justice. Kevin Action News reporter Simon Shaykat spoke to the victim and his family. He's live in Taylor right now with a story you're going to see only here on Action News. Simon? Carolyn, Dave, that 12-year-old was startled and terrified when he was attacked right here on these streets, and now he was hoping this never happens to anyone else. 12-year-old Daniel Dunnigan never expected a walk to a friend's house would turn into a nightmare, landing him in the hospital. I was shocked. I was really shocked. I, it was so fast, I couldn't think of what to do. He came back to the house and told me that um, somebody had got out of the car and started punching and kicking him. Daniel now wears a sling on his arm after part of his shoulder was torn. Also, bruises to his face and neck came after he was jumped Friday at about 8 p.m. It happened at San D townhomes near Allen Road as he walked alone carrying a football. When I seen his face, I mean, I started crying because he was like all bruised up all on the side of his face and his shoulder was all bruised up and he was crying and upset. Who did this? Daniel says several guys who pulled up in a silver colored Ford Fusion. One in particular struck Daniel repeatedly, leaving him scarred in more ways than one. But the cowards didn't rob Daniel of his strong spirit. They should leave kids younger than them alone and try to, try to pick a better, like a fair fight instead of trying to mess with little kids. God gonna take care of you. Hey, you gonna get yours. If it ain't from me, it's gonna be from somebody because if you out here hurt people purposely for no reason, you're gonna get it, period. Now, Daniel did not know his attackers, but he says they look to be at least 18 years old. If you have any information about this, call Taylor Police right away. Live in Taylor, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.